the key use for a subtotal, rather than say a sum or a count or something, is that it does ignore the hidden stuff. But there's just some really important point that you need to watch out for. And I'll demonstrate it here. So let's just say I want to get the subtotal of this order value column here, right? So I'll, as I start typing, I get my list and using the arrow keys, I can select it and hit tab. And I'll get, you know, this nice list of sort of tips here. It says, oh, look at these function numbers that you can have, average, count, min, max, and sum being number nine. And if I scroll down, I appear to get like the same list again. Somewhat confusing, what's the difference? Well, it's a very important difference actually. And that is that the numbers below 100 will take account of any kind of filtered out data, right? So if I put nine, example, it would sum up anything that wasn't filtered out. Whereas 109 would also filter out anything I hide. So let's just demo this, right? So subtotal 9, and I'll just I'll add up this column here, right? And hit enter. So you could see, as expected, I get the same total as the sum, right? Say I now say, well, actually, I'm just going to hide this product here, right? Now, that number doesn't change. Whereas if I change that to a 109, you can see it's now different to the sum. So that's absolutely key. Now, when you start filtering things, so say we just pick furniture, for example, um, we're going to get the correct value there. And also, if we hide something manually, we're going to get the reduced number two. So very, very useful to use the numbers above 100 unless you've got a definite reason why you would want to add up manually hidden stuff differently.